Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I just stumbled upon this new technique, Vora or Vision as Laura. This new project represents a new approach that is aimed at making large language models such as Llama, OpenAI GPT or any other transformer based models multi-modal. What it means in simple words is that you can convert a text based LLM to a model which can understand images by using this Vora technique. So it means that once this technique is applied on the model, the model would be able to directly interpret visual signals and perform visual comprehension without the dependency of separate external image encoders. Let me first show you how and then we will get it installed locally and we will see how it works because not only they have shared the whole research and paper but also you can see that there is a model on hugging face which comes in a fine tuned or instruction tuned version and a base model plus they have also shared a really cool 1.7 million rows data set which is also available on hugging face now if you look at this diagram, this gives you the whole picture. So first, let's try to understand what exactly is the uh, improvement here. So first, traditional multimodal LLMs rely on external visual encoders like WIT to transform image input into embedding before integrating them into language models. That leads to increased computational complexity, inflexibility regarding image resolution and sequential processing bottlenecks. And then there have been recent attempts where people have tried to embed image input directly within the LLM but encounter modality conflict issues which also cause a lot of instability and even catastrophic forgetting by the model. That is where we have this new technique which is called as Vora or Vision as LoRa. So LoRa stands for low rank adaptation. LoRa layers are small additional parameters sets added to the LLM to adapt its function without significantly changing or enlarging model complexity. So Vora proposes to integrate vision modules inside the LLM using low rank adaptation layers. And by integrating visual adaptation layers directly into the frozen based LLM, Vora makes vision processing an inherent quality of the language model itself. And during model inference, vision specific LoRa parameters can be merged entirely into the original LLM parameters, meaning near zero computational overhead at inference. So hopefully now you understand what exactly is Vora. Let's try to get this Vora 7 billion model installed locally and we will see how it works. This is the VM which I'm going to use and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. And that is done. Let me install all the prerequisites which include torch, torch vision and all that stuff. And that is going to take few minutes while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and a world simulation. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. Now let's first download the model and you can see we are going with Vora 7 billion instruct. And the model is being downloaded. I believe there are seven shards of it. Yep. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Let's do the inference. For inference, it's a very typical chat template where we are providing it the text and also the image. So for the image, I'm just going to go, go with this image from my local system and from the prompt, I'm just asking it to describe this image. And let's see Vora in action. Model is encoding the input and then it is producing the result after tokenizer is decoded. 
and here is the response if you compare it with the response it is pretty good now this is a vision model and the focus is on Vora not the capabilities so I'm not going to do a very extensive testing of this but I think one thing really jumps out is the speed it was very quick in deciphering the image even first time and the cool thing is that behind the scene what is happening is that they have used um, Quen 2.57 billion instruct as the backbone for linguistic capabilities and they have converted that Quen 2.5 model into a multi-modal model for vision encoder uh, which is in this case was uh, distilled was mv2 huge which is also uh, a large scale pre-trained visual transformer also um, the variant was trained on 448 by 448 resolution and they have also shared a lot of training information but again the thing which is to remember is that instead of adding a separate traditional vision encoder during inference this Vora has incorporated visual understanding directly within the Quen LLM through specially designed LoRa or LoRaq adaptation layer and that provides a lightweight parameter efficient way to introduce new modalities which is vision here without negatively impacting previously learned linguistic knowledge within the language model and you can already see that the response of the model is fairly concise and fairly spot on uh, with this low rank adaptation in terms of vram consumption it is not even using any vram for this one uh, i think it's all on cpu so which is again just due to the low rank adaptation it didn't even use my gpu so you can easily run it on cpu with this good of a speed let me just quickly do one final quick test on ocr okay so it was fairly quick i gave it this image with multiple languages and i asked it to extract the text from image and list down all the languages used but it seems ocr capabilities are not there they are very very fine in the original coin 2.5 model and we have checked it out on the channel before but it only identified the english so as you can see i also asked it to extract the text and list down all languages this image contains arabic persian hindi and few other languages so ocr is not there but other than that i think image visual question answering is okay so but for me i think this whole concept of having low rank adaptation for vision adapter is quite novel and i'm more than sure we are going to see more and more models because the speed is quite good and it is running on all gpu which is always welcome as you can imagine let me know your thoughts on vora if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching